Just me and my sexy cat ready for a new vlog. In this vlog, I literally have no idea what we're gonna do. I have no idea. I don't know if this is gonna be like a week in my life or just another scattered one. However, I did go yard sailing today and I also did go um, thrifting a couple days ago just to kind of pick some stuff up and I want to show you guys that so let me sit down and I will show you guys all of my finds okay here's the thing um I may or may not have blacked out decided to open up my phone opened up the tiktok app and then was on tiktok for too long so that's why I'm like I look completely different well not really I literally just put my hair up and changed my shirt and now I'm going to show you guys what I got so the first thing I mean is this Leonard Skinner shirt that I am wearing right now and now okay where am I even going to set you guys down let me let me figure that out let's just start I guess with the more homey items starting with this thing that I found at the estate sale today first off I just want to say my favorite thing to do aside from obviously thrifting is going specifically to estate sales not really like I still love yard sales obviously but like when you go to an estate sale it is like getting to see the actual like home interior and everything like that is so much inspiration and the reason why I'm telling you this is because the home that I went to today first off the bathroom it is literally my Pinterest it had all pink marble like literally the bathtub was pink marble all the countertops were pink marble it had like all gold like accents it was literally insane my actual dream bathroom and I saw this it was like a cute little soap dish situation it's just a seashell and again this was literally only two dollars they also had this amazing chandelier I don't know if it was for sale but wouldn't be able to get it even if I wanted to because it was way too big and there's no possible way it would fit anywhere in this house which sucks because I feel like finding a really cool chandelier is hard when it comes to you know doing it secondhand or else you can buy it brand new and it's like super expensive other thing that I got is just this a crystal little a situation I if you guys watch any of my thrift hauls you'll know that I find crystal literally all the time not like real crystal but like you know stuff like this whether it's cups this is more heavy than usual so I feel like this is pretty good quality and I don't know it was just again more it was extra sparkly it was just the way it was speaking to me because again I see these things all the time I literally keep um my cotton pads actually let me show you and I keep my little just things for when I use a toner and stuff like that and as you can see I don't know if you're going to be able to tell but maybe on camera you can see that this is way more shinier and again I could actually put little cotton balls in here or or do whatever but I actually got this for the bar so there's this tiktoker that I am just obsessed with we have a completely different interior design like completely the opposite but she is just so motivating like the way that she set up her coffee bar and the way that she does like these cool little snack things um, made me want to spruce up my bar so as you guys know I am obsessed with instant coffee I am just lazy like that so I thought why not just switch the instant coffee over to here and have it cutely displayed on my little coffee bar area and then I got two bags so this first one is actually just random it's literally just a Bratz one but I loved that the back was just literally the classic Bratz logo and I might sell this on my Depop I'm not really sure yet but I just thought this was way too cute to pass up because I rarely actually ever see anything that's Bratz now this one oh, you guys already know I am obsessed with all my Juicy Velour tracksuits and I for some reason just found this Velour Juicy bag. These are so hard to find in good condition and then when they are in good condition at the thrift store they're like $80 or something like that and I can only find them at Eco Thrift. The fact that I found this at a random mom and pop thrift store like are you kidding me the pink it does have like a tiny bit of discoloring like I don't know if you're going to be able to see that like a little bit right there and let's see like kind of right there but it's not as noticeable as it is like on camera I feel like in person it's a lot better but it's just so like I'm obsessed honestly the color just really stuck out to me and the fact that it was like super clean on the inside and nothing was like falling apart because again anytime I see these like the mirror is falling apart all of this is falling apart but this perfect condition guys I finally found square 
shoes i don't know why it's taken me this long but these are like okay first off you can't really see the brown in all its glory these i just thought are just gonna look so hot with like light wash baggy mom jeans kind of like rolled up at the bottom for an out the door casual yet dressy look as far as clothes i actually didn't get this the other day i forgot to mention it in one of my thrift hauls so i wanted to show you guys because i thought it was pretty cool this cute ralph lauren i just thought this was like very 90s very all american it does have some stains on the bottom so i think what i'm going to do is actually crop it and then it's a nice fix and i also really loved the back how it just had that extra detail on it surprise i actually got one of these um this one is a little bit more different than the one that was in a couple thrift hauls ago i think that one had red on it i'm pretty sure this one is just black and gray and i picked it up for my depot for you guys because i love styling this it is like one of my favorite sweaters and then this one is not like as interesting i mean it's kind of cool but it's not like oh my gosh that's so cool it's just this adidas sweatshirt so the reason why i like actually went to the thrift store was i'm trying to find a butter dish and i've already gone to home goods tj maxx i can't find one anywhere because i want like a crystal one like this and i found this one so this obviously is not like super crystal like this is obviously like in, but I thought this was the best I'm gonna get for two bucks again at the thrift store And if I see a better one, obviously I'll pick it up. That is pretty much it. Okay again I have no idea what we're gonna be doing But I hope you guys enjoyed this little short haul and I will see you guys with whatever we do next I'm literally having such a late start to breakfast. I think it's because um Don't come for me. I know it's really late. I literally genuinely think it's because I went to bed so late last night, so I munched so hard, so I think my body just wasn't hungry. Plus, I was on my computer, so I think I just, like, kind of forgot to eat, but this is my breakfast. I know it looks like I burnt my tofu. I did not. I mean, I did, but that's the way I like it, so a lot of you guys might think it's gross, and then I'm eating it with these sausages. Again, okay, this looks so disgusting, like, so unappetizing, but I swear I'm, like, obsessed with it, so... These are the sausage links that I'm using. To be honest, they're not that good. I much prefer the breakfast patties. Like alone, they're absolutely repulsive. So I like to actually put any type of hot sauce. This is the one that I got from Trader Joe's. And then I'll just like mix it in with the tofu. And this is the same tofu that I mix with nutritional yeast. And this little situation right here here just to give it flavor and then this actually is sourdough bread that i put over with mykonos european butter and just a crap ton of garlic salt this is the sourdough bread that i'm eating i went to just like a random little uh vintage shop situation and they had sourdough bread there that they were selling like a bunch of actually different bread and this one i just i mean for five bucks it look at the ingredients so freaking clean like if i'm gonna eat sourdough bread because literally sourdough bread is like my favorite i might as well eat something that has like very clean ingredients and again it was only five dollars which i feel like is super cheap so this this is just some fresh bread and then also we did get this um, banana bread as well from like the same um, person and this one was eight bucks but yeah again ingredients super clean so I thought that was pretty cool and also sourdough bread is actually supposedly really good for you okay this lighting um, I'm not really sure I can't remember why but it has something in it I mean obviously not like super processed like sourdough bread but if you get like good authentic sourdough bread there's something in it that's actually good for you i just casually slammed a coffee and it's almost 7 p.m because i actually want to take a shower and do depot pictures because the day just didn't go as planned i was planning on doing them way earlier in the day and then stuff happened and i think i want to make i mean i don't want to call this lunch but i guess it is lunch i want to make some vegan tuna like maybe like a sandwich or something like that i mean if you guys watch my vlogs you'll know that i do eat fish but i don't have any tuna right now so i'm really craving tuna and i want some so we're gonna make some vegan one and yeah let me let's just figure it out we will be using canned garbanzo beans but i still feel like it's pretty good because the only thing that it has here in the ingredients is literally garbanzo beans water and sea salt so the sodium may be a little bit high this is just in case you know you guys care about the freshness of beans because 
canned beans can really mess you up if you don't do them right because a lot of the times if you read the ingredients will have extra stuff but this doesn't have that many I mean it only has sea salt so it's fine so let's mash these up first I have mashed the tuna not tuna the chickpeas in here and then if you see these little white things this you could actually there's a way you can remove them before they're mashed and that's supposed to help like if you have a problem with eating garbanzo beans or anything like that where it might hurt your stomach a little bit that can actually help if you take those off I honestly don't care I'm way too lazy so I mashed that up and then I'm gonna be adding some white onion I didn't have any red onion unfortunately and then the capers capers I literally have no idea how to say it. it's these things are supposed to be finely chopped when putting it into here and as you can see they're still in the little balls but it's fine honestly I don't mind the texture I'm gonna be squeezing a full lemon into it some salt pepper and some garlic powder and then you're supposed to use tamari is that how you say it I think so but I don't have that so they said the closest thing is soy sauce and then some vegan mayo and some nutritional yeast the only thing that I don't really have is nori and um what was the other thing was mustard that's literally the only thing I just ran out the other day so that sucks I have my bread in the toaster oven and now I'm just gonna heat up some crushed garlic in a pan with some oil I don't have it on yet and I'm actually going to be sauteing it with this broccoli right here as kind of like the side with my little sandwich and here we have our little situation the broccoli just looks so bland guys it's sauteed in garlic and you know oils and salt so i swear i'm not eating plain ass broccoli plus i'm not even gonna lie i was eating like half of it off the pan so it doesn't look like there's a lot and then of course we have our little tuna situation and i tried it and i definitely approve i think it is very very good definitely doesn't you know tastes like tuna but it gives it that little illusion and it's nice so we are gonna have this little lunch situation so i just put like a little bit of makeup on and before i take photos i really want to show you guys this package that i got so if you guys watched my first vlog and then like a couple vlogs into it like when i first started i talked about this company cloth and paper for like organizing this is not sponsored like i literally ordered this with my own money okay so this is the packaging i mean how freaking cute and if you guys don't know this is just like planner stuff so this is nothing um crazy i just they had their whole like again black friday sale and i decided to put an order in for next year for my planner and i got some other things that i want to show you when i open it up i just get this cute little thank you know and now we have our package i'm so excited to show you guys i'm just like such a planner nerd with this stuff i mean are you kidding me how freaking cute is this so the first thing that i got is is this a sticky note in the color saddle I just love their sticky notes like how aesthetically pleasing is that and then I also got one in the color dusk as like the whole sale you did get a limited edition little transparency sticky note with um, like every order and this is what I was really excited about so I just got a memo notepad I took it out of the little plastic thing so you can get a better idea it's this really pretty like kind of light pink mauve shade almost and I'm just gonna keep this by my desk just to jot down anything I need because sometimes I'm not always gonna just open up my planner like that's so extra just to have this down by my desk anytime I need to write anything down so I don't forget it and then I got my 2021 inserts which I am super excited about so I don't know if I should show you this now or later I feel like I'll show you guys this later when I do you know my whole 2021 plan Planning, but yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys this because I love their sticky notes and stuff like that I didn't even notice but they also just threw the dot stickers in it as well. How Cute is that I am seriously so Obsessed with the whole situation and vibe here. We have my little Depop setup if you guys haven't seen it before. Oh my god. I just ran into the light So, you know, we have my little background and I'm so Excited because literally all I have left are these clothes as you guys know if you've been watching my vlogs I completely just screwed myself and had way too much I needed to post when I cleaned out my closet like three times and now 
now I just have all of this left. So I'm excited. I need to get all of this done tonight for sure just because I am planning on hopefully going to the outlets tomorrow. I literally haven't been in over a month. That is so rare for me and mainly it's because I was trying to get all of these clothes up so I want to have a fresh base. I don't even want to look at any of this stuff anymore. So yeah, tomorrow. Hopefully we'll go to the outlets. So it's definitely like 10 p.m. Literally, it's like, oh, actually, I don't know. It's like 10, 20. And I'm drinking a cold brew. I am so tired. And you guys are probably like, well, it's 10. Go to bed. No, I have had a very long day. And it's still not done because I still need to actually film a thrift haul. And do all of that stuff. And why am I really blown out right now? The lighting is like really weird. But we're just going to ignore that. And uh, yeah, today I pretty much just went into town. Because I went to the outlets. I finally went to the outlets and just... I am so drained right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyways. That video is actually, I think, going to be up before this one. So you guys will have already seen that. But casually, I did go to the outlets. So since I was in town, I actually did stop by Trader Joe's and Marshall's again. I know I literally went there in my last haul, but that haul was kind of like outdated. So it wasn't like, like that was probably like two weeks ago. And the whole reason why I went to Marshall's in the first place was because I ran out of shampoo, conditioner, and lotion literally all at the same time. How does that happen? Somebody please tell me how like as soon as you run out of one thing, you run out of literally everything. So I got some really cool things that I want to show you. So let me set you guys down. As you guys know, my hair, I mean, right now it's not looking its best, okay? I need to wash my hair. But, you know, it's bleached. It has color. So I try to do as less damage as possible when it comes to my hair. So anytime I try to find shampoo, conditioner, I, I mean, I'm not always perfect. But nine times out of ten, I try to find no sulfates and no parabens. And this one is a bio keratin and this is a moisture restore shampoo and then the conditioner is actually the same thing as just moisture restore conditioner and it is for dry color treated damaged hair what is my hair colored would we say it's damaged I do a lot of bleach to it, yes, and um, my hair just does get really dry naturally because of the bleach and everything, and this is infused with botanical extracts and keratin protein. It's sulfate and paraben free, and it's color safe, plus it's formulated in Italy, so I feel really bougie. They actually had this same one right here, like all the description, but it was actually in a pink packaging. Um, but this one just said luxury collection, and I made Hannah because I went with Hannah, so I was like, which one do you think looks more luxe? And she thought this one looked more luxe. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this one. And I just feel really fancy. Like the scent of this actually is not bad either, because nine times out of 10, again, like I said, it's really hard to find the sulfate and paraben free, and when it is, is, it smells like mint or just like not good scents so I am really happy that this one just smells luxurious it's like not too much and then also I did get this lotion right here okay can we see this I, can't, I don't know if you can see this they actually had the shampoo and conditioner of this one as well but it smelled like disgusting like mint tea tree oil and I don't want my hair to smell like that however this lotion is lavender vanilla snow and I love lavender in my body lotion Mm. Again, just how I am with like my shampoos and conditioners, I try to have my lotions be like not bath and body works type where it's like not the fact that it's heavily scented, but just like really poor ingredients. I mean, I'm sure this has poor ingredients, but I liked the fact that this was cruelty free, you know, no animal testing and it was organic and plus I like the scent. So I thought this was a plus. And then the last thing that I got, what I do want to mention is... In my last Marshalls haul, I know I said that I got this. So this micellar water, I raved about how I loved this. I always get this. However, every time I've gotten it, I've gotten the charcoal and coconut one. And I do want to say, do not, and I repeat, do not buy this. Holy, sh I don't use a micellar water to remove my makeup. I only use it when I'm 
incredibly lazy like say i've had too many drinks or i've just had a late night and i don't want to wash my face i will use this because i'm lazy or i'll use um the uh towel thing it's kind of like a makeup eraser you know that you just use with water sometimes i'll switch off but i really like using this for eyes however i don't know if this be because this is like breakout prone skin this shit made my fucking face burn so bad i thought that this was expired because like i said i went to marshall's with hannah and i like asked her because she's the one that got me hooked onto these and i didn't even have to finish it and she was like oh it makes your face burn and i'm like oh thank god so i think it's just the red one but then she said that like she learned that this brand i mean kind of obvious but isn't really good for your skin so i was like you know what because they did have the charcoal one at marshall's i was like i'm gonna skip on this i am gonna be throwing this out because fuck this this thing literally sucked and i couldn't use it on my eyes which sucked even more because the whole reason why i liked using my cellar is to remove my eye makeup um i found this one so this is just the simple micellar cleansing water and it says no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin at the bottom hopefully like a better micellar water because again usually i use just normal face wash like when i'm in the shower to remove my makeup that's all i got at marshall's i didn't get that many things however i did go to trader joe's again and i got some more snacky stuff that i want to show you guys that i want to kind of like try on camera just because i don't know i thought it was fun last time i think we'll actually make one of those for a late dinner okay so let's go into the kitchen here is all the bad food that i'm so excited to try so I got this creamed greens with Brussels sprouts, kale, and Parmesan cheese. Again, you guys might be looking at this and thinking, like, how is this technically bad? Um, I always look at the ingredients, and if the ingredients just have a bunch of random shit in it, then I categorize that as bad shit because I don't really go off calories or fat or anything like that. Like, when I define clean eating, I will always look at, actually, the ingredients list, and if it has shit that I can't pronounce, then I look at that as, like, okay, that's probably not good for you and again you guys know i'm a stickler about my food because i'm diabetic okay i strictly do that because it does well with my insulin you definitely don't have to be eating like this i am just showing you guys what i do so this a cauliflower tot casserole it has it's cauliflower tots with creamy whatever the hell that means and shredded cheddar cheese now that i look at this um Bichanel, whatever that is. I really hope that's not me. Okay, I didn't really think this through. So I'm going to have to look at the back and things like that. But yeah, this looked really freaking bomb. So I'm probably going to make this tonight. Another thing that I got is this chickenless crispy tenders for some reason every time i made this like when i still lived with hannah they made these all the time there and every time i tried them it tasted had like a weird burning taste so they stopped buying it so i can't maybe it's like the way we were making it but i just remember these kind of being good so we're gonna try that out i am trying this new hummus just for fun it just looks fun so i'll let you guys know how that goes and then i got this to make uh the pizza i'm pretty sure i've showed this in a haul before but this is my favorite combination they do have the garlic and herb and then the pesto uh, little sauce that you do together but personally i love this way more i think it tastes way more bomb and i like to use actually these dairy free cheddar style slices i like to put it on top and then i put mushrooms and honestly it's freaking bomb it's such a plain pizza but this together is just so freaking good like i don't know something about it is so yummy and then i also don't know if i've ever shown this but this is something that I always get from Trader Joe's. It's this soy chorizo freaking bomb. I am literally obsessed with this. I make this all the time. It's just really easy and I think it just, again, tastes really freaking good. This, you guys might want to punch me in the face. It's literally crispy okra. You're looking at, like, what the hell? Like, are you serious? Honestly, I love eating this because, again, all it has is okra, rice bran oil, and salt. And I can eat this whole bag. As you can see, the carbs are 16, but it has 9 grams of fiber. So if I'm literally starving and I need to snack ASAP before I make food I'll eat this whole bag and it will kind of hold me over a little bit until I actually have my real meal and it's like free carbs you know I don't have to shoot up insulin and then I also just got wasabi roasted seaweed snack because I did get some chickpeas again and I want to try that uh, tuna thing again now something that I do want to show you guys is this you're looking and you're thinking 
is, are we making another martini, Viola? Guys, once I made that um, martini, like, little thing, uh, obviously, you guys know, I said it in my last video, it's like Hannah's favorite thing is gin. She's always been a fan of gin, and when I told her that, she started sending me all these gin recipes, all these things, and she sent me this. And you know once you talk about something, your Instagram ads just fill up with it. People that I followed started posting this gin, and nobody I ever follow drinks gin or posts about gin and after she told me about this gin it's kind of like when you get a new car and you start noticing that car on the freeway or like whenever you drive and you're like why am i just now seeing it because you're you know you're more aware i didn't realize how popular this gin was so <laughs> this is the empress 1908 and this is gin guys that changes color it freaking changes color and the ads were getting to me look it says world gin awards best canadian classic it has all these awards anyways uh the whole thing is we're gonna be making some gin okay some colored gin we're not gonna be making martinis actually i don't know how to make this we're gonna see but i also did get elderflower what is this saint german okay you guys know what i mean it's like you make it with gin okay i got a small mini version of it to make like a white linen or something like that so yeah that is pretty much it i'm gonna have to go film this thrift haul now it's 10 27 you don't believe me do you see that see that mm -hmm. it's 10 27 i still need to drink my coffee and i need to make my meal and I need to film the thrift haul. And I also need to post a lot of Depop photos. I need to create those listings. And then I need to do some shipment. So we're going to have a long night. But it's okay. Okay. Because I'm ready. I'm feeling crazy because I had so much coffee today. But we're going to get it started. Okay. And then I'm going to give you guys a review on that tater tot casserole. Because I don't want to cook right now. Okay. I'm lazy. I'm not doing that. Oh my gosh. Why does she look so thick from here it's her leg oh she wants to say hi to the camera look at her wow what a sex goddess look at her oh my gosh oh she got so scared she's so cute okay she said leave me the f alone currently i have these in the microwave and i'm waiting for them to cool off because i'm lazy and i don't want to cook them properly so i forgot to show you but i also picked up this uh, peanut butter and as you guys know i love to have the ingredients just literally be peanuts and the fact that this doesn't even have salt i love this this makes me happy so i will be trying this out and seeing if it's any good as you guys know if you guys watch my vlogs this is hands down my favorite peanut butter as we can see i'm like literally out it is this santa cruz one and the ingredients on this again has organic peanuts but it also has um, a little bit of salt so i like to have that super clean but i wonder what the difference is going to be and then i also again super boring but i did get mustard and again the ingredients on this is super clean as well it doesn't have any nonsense in it it is very clean this looks extremely unappetizing because i actually like mixed it so as you can see like my fork stuff but it's literally guys like tater tots okay let's try this live on camera i'm just picking some apart i feel like this could definitely be really good in the oven like if you roast it and do some situation with it instead of just like melting it in the microwave but again i'm way too lazy for that so let's try this Oh, it's really hot. Mm, not the best, but I mean, let's let's have another bite. Let's get some more sauce on there. It's really freaking hot right now. Why am I still eating it? It's so hot. 7 out of 10. I feel like if I put it in the oven, it would be way better. I mean, this is like not bad, but again, it's like good finger food, you know, like a good appetizer, a good little side dish situation. And maybe if I put like some garlic salt or maybe even put more cheese on it, it would be so good. But yeah, not bad. I'm just going to continue to eat this, eat the sauce. Because why not? Actually, let's. Kind of smack. Currently, I just have some green onions. Oh, okay, we're fucking up. Red onions, bell peppers, and is that it? 
I, oh my god, I literally feel so stupid right now. I like lost my train of thought. Okay, anyways, boring. We're just sauteing in some garlic and avocado oil. And we will be using this soy chorizo. This is so freaking flavorful. So you don't even need to like season it or anything. But I'm doing like a tiny little bowl. So I'm going to be throwing a lot of that in there. So I'm just going to let that quickly, you know, marinate, saute, do its thing. And then I'm going to throw some of this in here and then I'm also going to be throwing in some sliced criminy or however you say it mushrooms. I ended up adding some cauliflower rice and zucchini and I might be actually adding just depends how it tastes this hot sauce right here that I also got from Trader Joe's and I would usually put shredded cheese on it but I unfortunately don't have any cheese. It literally looks disgusting, but I added an avocado, lime, a bunch of garlic salt, and again, the hot sauce. And then also, of course, I put flax seeds. Time to make my favorite drink in the entire world. It is gin time. Why are you watching me? Did you say gym time? I said gin time. So, you know, back in the day when I made my last Lame. martini video, I just used to think, oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Look, he just came and laid down, the puppy. What are you doing? Okay, I'm sorry if that was really annoying. Look at him. Okay, you can't even tell how small he is. He was way smaller a couple weeks ago, and I'm so sad that I didn't get it on video for you guys. Look at his tail. Look at him, how cute. Okay, he's gone, bye. Anyways, so here's the thing. Back in the day when I used to just talk crap on Jin, it's because, you know, when I may or may not have been the legal age, um, people would bring Bombay, and so that's all I knew Jin by was Bombay, and Bombay tastes like pine needles. It's absolutely disgusting. And the past, like the Trader Joe's gin, honestly isn't that bad. If you guys watch that martini vlog, this is a little bit pricey, but it's so bomb. It is literally so good. It goes down so smoothly, not like pine needles at all. Definitely would recommend this, like giving it a try because it's so good. Plus it's fun because it changes color. So what we're gonna do is we have our sexy little martini glass. You don't have to use a martini glass because we're not making martinis, but I just brought this one over because I'm that extra. I didn't wanna like rummage and try to find a glass. And I'm gonna be doing, uh, I think this is like, is this a double shot? I'm not really sure. We're just gonna do one full shot of this. We have that, as you can see, it's kind of like a bluish color. Again, I, don't, I didn't bring a mixer or anything because I am not at my house. I'm gonna take some LaCroix. This is like stale LaCroix. Like that's kind of gross, but it's all I had. I didn't have any fresh ones. So I'm gonna put a little bit, preferably honestly like a lime LaCroix would be better or a lemon one because we're gonna be using and squeezing half a lemon. Let's squeeze. Half, oh, oh, I forgot the best part. When I squeeze it, it changes color. You guys probably already missed it. Look, is that not literally the coolest thing that you've ever seen? Are you joking? Look at that, we're garnishing with a little lime. And there you go. I don't know why, but this kind of reminds me of like, Oh, Sex on the Beach, if you guys ever watched the movie Sleepover. It's like an old school, early 2000s movie. And they sneak it to the club and she's like, I want a sex on the beach. I don't know why, but I envision that this is what a sex on the beach would look like. And now let's try this. You literally can't taste the gin. Like it obviously tastes alcoholy, but it tastes like, it gives me the same vibes as like a really clean tequila. But yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. I'm literally just gonna sit and edit this vlog here. So I'm gonna end it here. And yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. Also, Merry Christmas because this video is probably gonna go like, it's gonna be my last video before Christmas. So I just wanna say that. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.